Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for watching if you are new here welcome if you're not welcome back um in today's video you guys it's going to be another design only um i would like to order two dtf gang sheets one is going to be regular dtf transfers and then one is going to be the uv dtf sticker transfers um so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can make a gang sheet in Canva and then upload it to Atlanta Vinyl. Now you can upload this to other companies as well. I just suggest that if the company sells DTF transfers nine times out of 10, they will have instructions on their website on how to um, make your game sheet if you're gonna be using another software to make the game sheet. So make sure you check whatever website you are ordering from and uh, make sure you're checking with their directions, their resolution requirements, all of those things, and then take that over into Canva to create your game sheet. Um, I'm gonna be using Atlanta Vinyl, okay? So I'm gonna start with the DTF, the regular DTF. This is the website here. So I'm gonna be making a custom DTF gang sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a print ready file, which is what I'm about to make now. But the design size or the gang sheet size that I've chosen to do is 22 by 36 inches. That is $18. And that's the size I'm gonna be creating in Canva. So I'm gonna go back over to Canva and I'm gonna go to custom size. It's here, or you can go to create a design, um, wherever that is on your Canva. That's what you're gonna go to. I'm gonna go to custom size. And then I want my units to be in inches and I'm going to type in 22 on the width. And I believe it's 24, no, it was 36. 36 on the height. This is gonna give us a canvas that's 22 inches by 36 inches okay now what i'm going to do is go ahead over to my uploads i do already have my uploads ready here so the first one i'm going to do is this lion's design now because i want to be able to fit as many um images on this game sheet as i can i need to make sure that when i'm uploading an image onto here i'm cropping out all of this dead space so i'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the picture um, there's a couple ways to do this. If you upload an image and it has these toggle marks, you can just go ahead and drag those in. You want to get rid of that dead space. Okay. If you don't have the option to pull it in, you can go up to the crop option and do it the same way there. Now I'm going to order three of these images. One and they're going to be uh, two different sizes. So the first size I need it to be 10.5 inches wide. Now, when you're in Canva Pro to know if something, how big something is, you're going to look at, do you see that box where it says W13H14? That is letting me know how big this actual image is. And like I said, I need it to be 10.5. So I'm going to scale it down until it says 10.5. And I'm gonna let the height auto adjust, which is going to be for this image, 11.4. And then I'm going to release. So now I know that this image is 10.5 inches wide by 11.4 inches high. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this up to the corner here. And then I'm gonna click on it, right click, and push duplicate because like I said, I do want three of these. Now the other two are going to be 8.5 inches wide. So same thing, I'm gonna grab the corner and I'm just gonna scale it down until I see the W says as is 8.5 inches. Now, if you look in that black box, it says W 8.5 H 9.2. That is width 8.5 inches, height, 9.2 inches, and I'm going to release, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and place this up here in this corner, and I wanted two of these 8.5 inches, so I'm gonna push duplicate. Okay, so to be able to tell the difference, even though you can kind of see the, see the side difference, but just so that I am 100% sure I know the difference between these 
uh, transfers, what I'm going to do is go over to text and I'm just going to get a text box and I'm going to type in the word adult. And I'm just going to place that right above this, this transfer right here. So that lets me know that this is the adult transfer. Now it is going to print onto the DTF sheet, but all you have to do before you press it is make sure you trim off the word adult. All you gotta do is take some scissors and you can cut it right off. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna type in youth. So this is going to let me know that this transfer is the adult one. These two are the youth transfers, okay? Now I'm just going to add in a couple more just to make sure I can fill up my gang sheet. I have another one here. Again, let me go ahead and get rid of this dead space. Wait, that's not the one I wanted. Uh oh, I think I deleted the wrong image. I was getting like deleting some of these images and I think I deleted the wrong one. That's fine. I'm going to use this one then. And the same thing, I want this one to be 10.5 inches. So I'm going to scale it down until it says 10.5. This one's going to be 10.5 by 10.5. And then I'm just going to place it on there. And then I will add in this one. Same thing, prop out any dead space. And then make this one 10.5 as well. These are going to be going on shirts for me. And I'm just arranging them on the gang sheet. Okay, and then I can fit in... Mm. I'm going to see if I can find a, my design. The one that I accidentally deleted because I want that one. Okay, it's in here and it's right here. Okay, this is the design I wanted. So what I'm going to do is scale this one down as well to 10.5. And then drag it up to this page, and then I can delete that page. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and rock with this. And it's really just as simple as that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to create another custom size. And I'm going to do the same exact thing for my UV DTF gang sheet, which is going to be a little bit smaller. This one, I'm going to do a 15 by 24. So I'm going to go back to Canva and then same thing with the units and in inches. I'm going to go to 15 by 24 and we're going to create a new design. And these are all going to go on to coffee bugs. Um, and actually, I may do the smaller one. This one may be a little too big, but let me see. So I want to do this lion's image. And then again, same thing, you guys, we're going to crop out this dead space. And we're going to make this, um, each coffee mug is going to have two images, one on each side. And I did measure it and it does have to be 3.5 by 3.0. So I'm going to scale this all the way down to 
Okay, so an issue I'm running into here, which is I'm kind of glad that um I did run into it so I can show you guys. Um, in Canva, you can't necessarily change, like you can't unlock the height and the width, okay? So I need the height to be 3.0 because when you're talking about a coffee mug, you have the top and you have the bottom. There's no more space for you to go. So if I make my image too tall, then it's going to wrap around either the lip of the cup, the top of it, or it's going to wrap around the bottom of the cup. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to have to do to adjust is I am going to have to make the height 3.0, regardless of whatever the width is going to be. So the height for this image is going to be it's going to be three, but then my width is going to be 2.9, which means why going in the wide way, it's just going to be a little bit smaller. Not, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And like I said, each coffee mug is going to have two stickers. So I'm going to duplicate this and this is going to be one mug. Okay. And I'm going to do this pretty much the same thing. I'm going to, I want this one to also be on a coffee mug. Same thing. I need it to be uh, three point, no bigger or no taller than 3.0. Okay, so this one's going to be three by three. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. So now this is another coffee mug. Same thing with this one. We're going to go ahead. It can't be any taller then 3.0. And this one is also going to be three by three. And then I will duplicate it because I want two on each mug. Okay. And I think I am going to go ahead and make this gang sheet a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to do the 15 by 12 just because I don't need a whole lot of them. So to resize my canvas, I'm going to go up to here where it says resize, and this is a pro feature. And then where it says custom size, I'm going to click there. And I'm going to type in 15 by 12, which is what I'm going to go ahead and change this size to. And it is going to be in inches. And then I'm going to go down to just resize this design. And then I'm going to go to resize the design. Okay, so now it's um, it's a 15 by 12 and I'm going to try to go ahead and fill this up. I can use this one. I can put it on my laptop. I'm going to make this one 4.5 wide so it'll fit on my laptop. And then I'll duplicate that one so I can have two of them. And then I might as well go ahead and use this lion. Um, I might put this one on, maybe I'll put this one on a tumbler. And I do know that tumblers are 9.2 inches high. So with that being said, if I have it just in the middle, then I should make it about five five inches high, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe 4.5. And this will probably, as far as wrapping around, I know it's, I know like a 20 ounce skin, skinny tumbler typically measures at 8.3 by 9.2. I only know, I know that because I, I, I sublimate tumblers a lot. So that's how I know that. Um, I didn't have to measure it. Um, so with that being said, only one sticker will probably fit on a sublimation on a tumbler, which is fine. I'm just kind of trying to fill up the page here. Okay, and you can just kind of assort all of these images on your page. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, mine as well. Again, just trying to fill up the page here.
And I'll do one of these as well. I can add this to Levi's notebook. Okay, and for his notebook sticker, I will do three inches wide and it'll default to 5.2. Actually, I'm gonna delete this one and duplicate this one. Okay, I'm happy with this. So now I have both of my gang sheets. Um, and then I'm going to title this one UV DTF gang sheets. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to upload this into Atlanta Vinyl so that you can go ahead and place your order. We're going to go up to share. We're going to go to download. And we're going to download a PNG. We are going to take this size nozzle here and we're going to toggle it all the way up this is to make sure that we have the best resolution this is kind of i think this might be mislabeled in canva it says size but it's really the resolution and then we want to make sure we have a transparent background okay now again you do need Canva pro for that so i'm just going to go ahead and push download and then we're going to go to the uv the uv dtf gang sheet which is here again i did select the 15 by 12 and then I'm going to go to waiting for my PNG to download here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gang sheet on my homepage. Then we're going to go to the order form here. We're going to choose our PNG file. And we're going to upload the image we just downloaded. And then we're going to select add. Okay, now here is our gang sheet that we just created. Then we're going to go to add to cart. And that's about it. It says it takes two to three business days, excluding holidays to process. Okay, so for this video, you guys, that's pretty much all that um, is required. It's, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure you toggle your sizing down. Um, and then again, make sure you follow the directions for whatever website that you are ordering your transfers from. Um, but stick around for part two. There is going to be a part two to this where I am going to use the UVDTF stickers and I'm also going to use the transfer sheets and I'm going to show you guys how they press as well. I will also probably go live using both of them. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you turn on the notifications so that you get notified when I upload part two as well as when I go live and I use these transfers, okay? That's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time. Bye, guys.